Hey guys, my name is Annie Nagel and I'm with Johnson Outdoors. I'm Ocean Kayak Pro Staffer. I'm really excited about all the new updates that we made to the Trident series and I'd like to walk you through the boat. So first we'll start at the bow. We um, changed the toggle handle to a rigid handle. Um, I would get my line wrapped around the toggle handle. I, my net would always get stuck on the toggle handle so I'm really happy that we have this rigid handle. It's going to be a lot less uh, little tangles for me. <clears throat> uh, moving down, we have the new rod tip protectors. Um, super nice, going to just kind of keep your rod in place and not flying all over your boat. And then we have this paddle stash. Um, so it's super nice. You just stash the paddle right in there. If you're fighting a fish getting towed and you don't want to Put your, you don't have time to put your paddle off to the side, it's nice that you can just store it right here. Um, we have the same hatch. Uh, we took away the sonar shield, and now we have a, a transducer mount with the, the mount cover here, as well as uh, tracking the flush, flush mount tracks. Uh, makes it a little more customizable, and um, it's pretty exciting. I'm gonna put, I don't have a fish finder, so now I get to put one on because uh, it'll be a little easier for me. Uh, you can also mount electronics on this mount, uh, mount whatever you want. We have two more tracks here, two more tracks midship, and two more on the stern of the ship. Uh, really excited about the cup holder. That's like a big deal for me. I always want to go out with my Red Bull in the morning, and I used to put it between my lap and, or between my legs, and it would always spill, and it was such a bummer. So super stoked about that, and also serves as an extra pocket if you want to put your lead weights in there or whatnot. Um, the Mod Pod got big changes to it. It's now a folding hatch. Instead of having to unstrap it and take the whole thing off, I would get snagged on the straps and with a barbed hook. You, you can imagine how annoying that can be uh, trying to get your hook out when you just want to go fish. Um, so I love. And then we have these. It's going to come with two removable trays. Um, and it's deep enough to put your 3600 Plano boxes in there. Uh, so that's super exciting. And then they're nice because you can kind of do whatever you want. You can uh, slide it so you have access into the hole if you want to put you know, a dry bag inside the hole and then kind of have your tackle right in front of you. I'll probably use one tray for my tackle and one tray for my Red Bulls, put some ice in there and keep them cold all day. Um, we have a dry storage here. You can put your camera in there. You can kind of put, you know, keys or wallet, fishing license, have quick storage. Uh, it locks. And then there's two bungees. You can kind of stick your lip grips or your knife or pliers uh, under there so they're just central and organized. I'm really excited about the magnet on here. It's uh, strong enough to hold a small pair of pliers, your knife, hooks. That's what I'll be using it for. I'll probably have the next lure I want to throw out. Uh, right there in front of me and I don't have to worry about getting stuck by my hook. Um, so I think that's it with the Mod Pod. It's a little uh, thinner, a little narrower and you have more leg room. Uh, it's nice for some of the bigger guys uh, whose thighs we're kind of hitting here. So that's pretty awesome. Um, the seat, that's a huge update. It goes all the way down. This is going to be kind of similar. It's actually a little bit lower than it was before. And uh, so you're not losing any of your center of gravity and you're still really down low to the water, making it an excellent paddling kayak. And then it goes up to um, here and that'll give you that, sit, that thigh support when you're bracing against these foot braces. And you know you really got to dig and get back. Um, you get that thigh support. And I'm super excited about that. For a long day of paddling, it's going to help a lot. Uh, the seat back adjusts three inches up. Um, so if you, you know, have a certain PFD that's kind of getting close, you can lower it or want that extra lumbar support. It's nice to have that option. Um, the seat it has this foam. It's not gonna, it's uh, not gonna hold the smell or anything. Um, and it's very aero. It has a lot of air pockets. So it's very a lot of good circulation going through there. Not gonna be sitting on a wet seat all day. So that's super exciting. Still have the two scupper holes under the seat. Um, and then moving back here to the rear tank well, it's now able to fit our new cooler, which is so exciting. Um, 
we took out the little indentations. So a lot of people wanted to have their crate right behind them with their ro extra rod holders. Uh, so that's also a nice option. Um, the cooler is super nice. It's just a fish cooler. You can put your drinks in there. You can, you know, if you're going on a long camping trip or something, have everything on ice. Um, and then it has little, you can kind of make sure it doesn't fall off if you flip over. Um, and then more of the flush mounts tracking, super nice. I want to customize my boat, so I'm super excited. Uh, the Trident 15 has this back rear hatch. Um, same locking system. If you're going, you know, on a long camping trip, that's nice to just have that access back here. Um, so it's going to come the Trident 15, Trident 13, Trident 11, uh, same colors, and it's seriously my favorite boat, and I'm super excited about all the changes they made. It's just going to make the fishing experience so much better.